love yourself at your weakest moments. Hello, I'm Janelle. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, do not hesitate to subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, the whole spill. So I've been meaning to do this video for about two weeks, but here we are. So if y'all have been watching me, you know that I have my tea. I'm always drinking my tea. I always tell y'all what tea that I'm drinking, but I never show y'all. So today I am drinking chamomile vanilla. This one right here. Okay. So again, this video is about what self-love means to me. Um, it means so many different things. There's so many different people. I'm not here to unconfuse you or confuse you. Like, I'm just here to tell you what self-love means to me. So I do have some notes because, baby, I can go, go off topic real fast, okay? So, let's see. Okay, so self-love, what it means to me is just knowing who you are and standing by it. Um, and what I mean by that meaning... Knowing who you are and who you're not because you're going to have, at certain points in your life, you're going to have friends, you're going to have family, you're going to have just people on the outside trying to tell you things that you should do or shouldn't do about your life when you are in charge of your life, okay? When you know who you are and you know who you're not, you know what you're willing to put up with, you know what you're willing to not put up with, you know what you can take and what you can't take. So with other people's input, you know, get trying to give you different opinions and things and suggestions it's not that you can't listen to you know just suggestions from friends i mean you can listen doesn't mean that you have to do it because a lot of things that people are suggesting for you to do is what they would never do that's number one okay so self-love for me is like I say, knowing exactly who you are and standing by it, okay? Standing by who you are and not being a part of the world. Meaning, I am in the world. I am not of the world. I do not conform. I do not follow. I do not do any of those things, you know, that is going on around me. Because it's so easy to get caught up in all of that. And especially if it ain't even really who you are. You just doing it because somebody else done it. And you just think that you should do it. You have to really know what's for you and what's not for you. And a lot of the times that comes with growth. It comes with not just age, but wisdom, growth, things like that. You know, as you're growing, as times are changing, you're getting to know more about yourself you know again if you've watched any of my other videos i'm typically always alone i have no problem with it some people do but i have no problem with it standing alone has taught me so many things i am i really do consider myself an introvert and an extrovert okay so meaning i feel like that standing alone is just so powerful it's so powerful like if you've listen to other videos of mine i sold my property and moved to another state and i did not know not one single soul now some people that i know they thought that i knew people there that's why i was moving there i literally did not know one single soul and did not care okay i did not care because i know that i can make it on my own so Saying that, y'all might hear energy in the background. If you are new, energy is my pet parakeet, and he is very loud right now. That's why I don't really like to make videos that much in the daytime, because he's he's just over the top. Anyway, okay, so, self-love is building yourself up, like, self-esteem, all of those things. Building yourself up, like, you know, just knowing what works for you knowing what makes you happy just doing the things that you love it you do not need to follow what other people are doing and thinking that is what's going to make you happy you have to find what makes you happy it could be the most simplest things like like my space that i'm in right now this space is so vibey i mean it is a vibe okay like just being surrounded by color and plants and just a lot of things that I, it just makes me happy every time I walk in here okay every space that I lived in it was I, I definitely put my my touch on it 
Like when I was a homeowner, every house, every I said every house, every room in my house was a different color because color makes me happy. I love to walk in and just see color. So doing just the simplest things like just making your space a vibe is just what's going to make you want to be there. I feel like a lot of people, you know, they don't really make their spaces and just wherever they spend most of their time, they don't just, they don't build it up and make it a part of who they are so that they can just be happy there, you know? Like, I'm not running from anything so far as I have to be out here and be out there. Like, no, I'm content with being in my space whenever I need to be in my space because I love being alone anyway. And even if I'm not alone here, like... It's just a vibe in here. So, I mean, why would I not want to be here? So, self-love is making everything around you a part of what you like and what you adore, you know? Again, let's see. Um, self-love is also not being so, like, hard on yourself about things that you just may have not accomplished yet. Long as you are working towards those things, I feel like, you'll get there. You know what I mean? Like, you have to just be okay with where you are and at that moment, okay? It's always room for growth with everybody at, in every generation. It's always room for growth. But also be happy for just where you are at that moment and know that you have enough self-power to elevate whatever it is that you do not like. And speaking of self-power, I wrote a memoir in the year of 2020. So I will put it up on the screen if anyone wants to check that out. Um, very inspirational, very motivational. But it just tells you more about my journey, you know, things that I won't ever really discuss on video. But yeah, it tells you more about my journey. So let's see. Um, Self-love to me is stripping yourself down. Stripping yourself down, taking it all off, looking in the mirror and being okay with what you see, being happy with what you see and repeating in the mirror that you love what you see. That's what self-love is to me, taking it all off. And I mean taking off anything that ain't real. Taking it all off and being okay with what you see in the mirror and being content with that. Like, yeah. Being content with what you see. Um, loving yourself as you are. As you are. That's that's what self-love means to me. Like, um, I do my own nails. I do my own pedicures. And I don't feel no kind of way about it. No kind of way. I stopped going to nail shops a few years back. I don't feel no kind of way about it. And keep in mind, it's nothing wrong with going to the nail shop. But what I'm telling you is, I feel like, the things that make me happy is treating myself to the things that I like to do. You know what I mean? And being able to do it myself. The same thing that they might serve in a five-star restaurant, I can make right here in my apartment. And I can put it on a, a plate that's probably prettier than what they have in a five-star restaurant. So, and there's nothing wrong with going to five-star restaurants. I want to make that clear. We all know that. Who don't love fine whining and dining? I mean, who don't? But what I'm saying is being able to make a five-star meal at home treating yourself to all of those things yourself like you don't have to actually go out and spend all of this excessive money to make yourself happy that's what self-love means to me i can do it all myself okay um let's see stand in your ground stand in your ground like i say knowing who you are knowing who you're not and being okay with taking Advice from friends and family don't mean you got to follow it. it. It does not mean you have to follow it. Because a lot of times people will give you advice for things that they would have never done or would never do. Like literally, they would never do it, would never even attempt to do it. But they want to give you all of this advice. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. You have to know what works for you and what don't and be okay with it. Like be okay with it. It's nothing wrong with just knowing what does not work for you. Like long as you are upfront about it and you real about it, that's all that matters. Like, that's self-love. I know that this does not work for me. It could be a group of associates. It could be a group of friends that no longer serve you. It could be a job. Like, it could be anything. You have to know when to walk away and stand on that. 
everything has an expiration date. Like knowing when to walk away or knowing when to close a certain chapter from a friendship or like I say, a, a kinship, a job, anything. It's nothing wrong with that. It's knowing your limitations. Knowing your limitations and not feeding into a lot of things is just self-love. Like self-love to me means everybody don't need my energy. I don't need to be everywhere. I don't need to be around everybody like I know what works for me and I know where I just don't need to be like and it's okay I don't have a problem with it it's okay I feel like my energy does not need to be all over the place because I'm real big on just a lot of things and sometimes walking into certain rooms I just know that I just probably shouldn't even be there and it's okay because again I am a loner anyway I, I mean if you've watched any of my other videos, you, you can see that. If you've watched my videos, you can see it. Like, And I talk more about it in my memoir. So, again, that link will be in the... It's always in the description box anyway on my website, shopisplurge.com. It's there, but I'll link it. Actually, my link tree will be in this um, description box, so you'll see everything there. So, um, let's see if I have anything else that I wanted to talk about. So, of course, self-love is the regards for one own well-being. That's what self-love is. Um, like I say, knowing what works for you, building yourself up. Let's see. And like I just mentioned, knowing how to do things on your own. Like, I do my own nails. I do my own pedicure. I cook mostly all my meals. Like, y'all see that I cook a lot. Um, of course, again, I love fine dining, too. But, like... Um, I, I just love to cook my own meals. I just do because I know exactly what I like. Um, I know exactly how I like it. So that's that's a part of self-love, just being able to do things on your own. You know what I mean? Doing things on your own and believing that you can do things on your own. Like, it's nothing wrong with doing things yourself. Like, don't let the world, you know, make you think that you have to do this, you have to be here, you have to be there. No. You can do things on your own and feel just as happy. So, I do want to put that out there. Um, like I said, y'all might hear energy in the background. Because I have like this channel on for him. So, he can leave me alone. But anyway. Let's see. Um, I may have touched all of what I wanted to talk about. Um, let's see. Like I say, knowing what works for you. Um, building yourself up, knowing how to do things on your own. Um, again, I do want to speak about like um, just being nicer to yourself. You know, we can be so hard on ourselves when things are not going our way. I want to know, because I can, so I'm going to put this out there. Can you love yourself when things not going right in your life? Can you love yourself at your brokest moments? Can you love yourself at your weakest moments? Can you look in the mirror when things are going all wrong and still love who you see? Can you? Because I can. Like, and, and it, it, you know, it comes with a lot of discipline. Because we've all had lowest points in our life where you just will probably feel so bad about yourself. But that does not mean that you don't love yourself. Can you still love yourself when things are going bad? When things are not up to the standard that you feel like that they should be? Can you still love yourself at your lowest point? Because loving yourself at your lowest point is, is what's going to allow you to get out of your lowest point. Because you know that you can. Having the ambition, the encouragement, and the motivation knowing that you can get out of that. That's what self-love is to me. Like, because we all have down moments. Like, damn, when I don't have breakfast food, I feel like, what the hell? Like, oh my God, I'm poor as shit. That's how I will feel if I don't have breakfast food. Because I'm a big breakfast person. And that's something that's so mediocre to somebody else. They probably like, what the hell? No, seriously. Seriously. So, even at times when I feel like, oh my goodness, like everything is going wrong. Like, it could be a day. It could be two days. It could be three. I'm still going to look in the mirror and love who I am. I just am. Because nobody's going to love me like me. So I am going to install that in my head every single day. It does not matter how bad things can get. Things are always going to get better. So I'm going to love myself regardless. So that's what self-love means to me. Doing things on my own. 
being able to do things on my own, being able to stand alone, being able to walk alone, being able to spend a long time without, you know, feeling like I need everybody around me. Some people, like I said in one of my other videos, they would literally crumble if you had to be alone. Okay, I'm not running from myself. Like, I can stand still in my own silence, in my own thoughts, and be okay with that. It's nothing wrong with it for me. So, I just wanted to put this out here. Hopefully, this video can help somebody, give you a little bit more encouragement if you're having a bad day, because we all have bad days. Baby, I have had some bad days, okay? So, um, and here I am. So, things always get better. Just keep it in your mind. Things will always get better if you try. That does not mean that you should not love yourself. Love yourself as you are. And keep focusing on the things that you need to focus on to get up out of whatever situation it is. And things will always work out. Trust me. So, again, I, I do want to say that this whole new generation is... Because, see, I'm Generation X. So, this whole new generation can get a lot of people caught up in their mind, you know, thinking a lot of crazy thoughts. Okay? So, I am in the world. I'm not of the world. Okay? So... If you don't know what that means, look it up because I just feel like being of the world that comes with too many, too many things. I'm walking my own path. I'm doing my own thing. Nah, I'm in the world, not of the world. I'm going to say that again. And thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Share the video. All of those things. Do not forget to leave a comment and I'll see you in a few days. Okay.